Explaining the universe in rational terms. Because of the total freedom enjoyed by humankind, there are inevitably many problems or challenges. And it is in meeting these challenges that we develop and advance. It is said that the entire debate over belief and disbelief boils down to one question. Does logic prevail? Those who are of disbelieving disposition say if there were a God, why is it that we see content? Addictions everywhere in the world. When we observe the universe, we come to the conclusion that throughout the material cosmos, there is a grand design. Yet, in the human world, the picture is quite different. Here we witness misery, sorrow, suffering, and all kinds of evil. According to skeptics, this is the contradiction between the two scenarios, the cosmos and the human world shows that our world is a bundle of randomness. Although in a partial sense, there seems to be design in the world. Yet, when we look at the picture in totality, the design disappears. This negates the argument that if there's a design, there must be a designer. The contradiction can, however, be explained explained by making a comparison. When we compare the two, we discover that there is fundamental dichotomy. The human world is characterized by absence of any kinds of restrictions. Humans have total freedom either to tread the path of ahisma, nonviolence, or to engage in world wars. They can utilize nuclear energy either for constructive purposes or destructive purposes. This kind of freedom with its propensity to encourage chaos and conflict, has the potential to destroy all systems. The case of cosmos is diametrically opposed to this. Despite its mind-boggling vastness and countless components, we find it entirely ordered by determinism. From the microcosm to the macrocosm, the whole universe functions under tight discipline. That is, according to natural laws. As a result, it has a highly predictable character. It is because of this predictability that we have been able to develop science and technology with precision. The absence of determinism in the human world is the reason for the social sciences not having the exactitude of the physical sciences. For example, while the solar system has but a single definition, political science has almost a dozen definitions. The difference between our world and the rest of the universe leads us to believe that the scheme of things devised by the Creator differs from one to the other. While the functioning of cosmos is marked by determinism, the creator scheme for the human world places human in a state of freedom. There is deep wisdom in this difference. If we observe the physical world, we realize the phenomena of intellectual development is absent. In other words, it has remained the same for millions of years. But in the human world, there are constant challenges. And it is these kind of challenges that lead to progression and development. Without challenges, there can be no creative thinking or intellectual development. When we observe the material world, we find order in it. While in the human world, there is seeming disorder. But this disorder is not a negative, but rather a positive phenomena. The positive explanation for this disorder in the human world is response to challenge. Due to this difference, we have to apply two separate criteria to make a proper assessment of these arenas. The cosmos has to be judged by the yardstick of determinism, while human world has to be judged by the yardstick of freedom of choice. Thanks to the deterministic nature, the material world offered the possibility of creating technology. Without such predictability, we would not have been able to utilize the resources of the material world for industrial development. 
It follows that in the human world, because of the total freedom enjoyed by humankind, there are inevitably many problems or challenges and sufferings. And in meeting these challenges, we develop and advance. Unfortunately, this freedom also gives rise to evil. The problem of evil is not a feature of the material world. It is a phenomena peculiar to the human world. This ineluctable evil is the price that we pay for all the developments which have culminated in what we proudly refer to as civilization. <laughs>